Hi there, this is Fixed It. This is a Fixed It IT support fix. Sky Yahoo email unable to verify password fix. Recently, my Sky email failed claiming it was unable to verify my computer email password. The forums, cheapo free support services, denied a fault and recommended I delete the account. I did, but don't. Here's how I fixed it. Twice. Having realised there was a problem, I went to the mail pop-down menu at the top and selected preferences. And this gave me access to the email accounts. I then selected my Sky email and checked the account information. I then selected server settings to get the detailed information of the account. I then retyped in the bottom password and pressed return. And I was again presented with the message unable to verify account name or password click OK, which does absolutely nothing. To check that this problem wasn't just the Apple Mail, I tried to open my account on my iPhone and also on a PC and found exactly the same problem, unable to verify account name or password. Of course, being a thorough investigator, I then opened my browser and went to the Sky Yahoo Mail and typed in the password there and miraculously it opened with no problems. So I typed up this message just to display on the screen and then tried to look for some technical support services and only got the user forum. Like so many companies, they can't be bothered to use some of the billions of pounds that they take to create a decent support center. The forum said delete the account and recreate it. Stupidly, I did. Big mistake because all your emails and everything that are on the machine get deleted. More on that shortly. After days of hunting around, I came across this on the Sky Broadband site. Problems accessing your Sky Mail from your email app? We've made some changes to the way you access Sky Yahoo Mail through email app to deliver a better and more consistent experience. The bottom line is, so they've withdrawn your ability to create a password and they are forcing you to use a new cryptic 16 digit password that they will issue and the reason i'm locked out of my email is that they've done this without telling me although it does say you can still sign in and access your emails through sky.com at any time using your standard email password so you only have to remember another cryptic password further down the page it gets to the what you need to do and you need to click on the generate an app password you'll then be taken to the Sky Broadband site and when you sign in you will get this prompt hit next a new page will pop up asking you if you're using an email app like Microsoft Outlook on your computer tablet phone or something else in this case I selected computer a new page then asks what kind of computer are you using Windows Apple something else in this case I select Apple a new page now informs you that it's about to show you the new password for your app there's a warning so that nobody else is looking over your shoulder taking a picture or a video camera or I don't know and if you weren't paranoid before you did this I bet you look over your shoulder the password is in four tuplets with spaces in between having noted the password down you now need to return to your email accounts and type in this new generated password and make sure you put the new password into both the incoming and outgoing password slot the other thing that I have to do was to change the ports on the incoming mail server I unticked the automatically managed connection settings on the new port settings drop down and then I typed in port 993 and tick the box use TLS slash SSL authentication password now moving on to the outgoing mail server, I untick the automatically managed connection settings, set the port to 587, tick the box use TLS slash SSL with authentication password and everything's complete. When I hit save, the mail system is now working again. Now you may remember I put a big warning in bold about not suspending or deleting the email account while you were having a problem, which of course I did after advice from the 
the Sky Forum. As soon as I started the email, I suddenly realised all the emails were gone. It was all completely empty. I'd lost the lot. And then a process started of downloading all those that were still on the server. Initially starting with 1,348 new messages, and then up and up it went, 6,121 of 23,047 messages, and on and on for hours. Now luckily, I have fast unlimited broadband, but if you are not unlimited and you have to pay for your downloads and your broadband isn't fast, this is going to cost you a lot of time and a lot of money. And then we can hark back to the fact that Sky said they were doing this for our benefit. It would have been a lot better if they had just told us what they were doing and gave us many days of advance warning before they did it. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and anybody else you know that's on Sky particularly for having difficulties. I'll be making a separate video for the iPhone because there's quite a few steps that you need to go through in order to fix this problem. Thanks for watching. Bye.